Monday, I believe the 20th, July the 20th. So I'm going to say it's been about a month and some change since I've recorded or vlogged. There's good reason for that. I have a lot going on, a lot of things that I'm doing. So I've been really occupied with that, just trying to be really intentional with um, just making sure that whatever I'm doing, I'm focused on it. I tend to have like a bad habit of getting into things and then not finishing them. So with my business, I was like, you know, I really want to just focus on this and take it slow and just making sure that I'm doing everything how it needs to be and like my intentions on there. So that's what I've been doing. A little update. It's 10:43 this morning. I was really productive. I went um, this morning when I woke up. I cleaned the house, I took my pre-workout, I went on a run, I went on a mile run, and then for the other mile back, I walked and then ran the rest. So two miles, one mile running, maybe like a mile and 15 running, and then the rest was walking. So I'm really proud of myself. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to do two miles running, so we'll see how that goes, I'll let you guys know. Um, and yeah, Terrence did a, like a workout, we're watching a service from Elevation that we didn't get to watch yesterday. If you haven't seen my Sunday morning routine for church since COVID started, um, you can go ahead and see that. I'll link it down below so you guys can see that, just so you can see my Sunday mornings if you're curious. So I've really been loving like a big oversized tee and biker shorts. That's really been like my vibe because when I'm at home, I just, I don't know, I like feeling like that cozy but stylish look, so that's really what I've been wearing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a bunch of errands to run today, so I think I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm not sure how I want to do that just because I don't want to bring my camera everywhere. Things are disgusting, so I just don't want to do that but i'll see how i'll fit that in i need to go to salvation army or goodwill to drop off some clothes and i need to go get a barbecue grill so me and terrence have decided we want to get a grill for our patio so we can like make burgers and like shish kebabs i think that's how you say it and then um make like steak and like all that cool stuff we just really want to grow we've been in a grilling mood so that's what we're gonna do today um, I actually might do that earlier before he goes to work just so we can like get it out of the way so I don't have to carry it because I'm not going to carry it. I already know that. Um, I cleaned the house yesterday so the house is really clean so I don't really need to do that. I think I'm going to run by my office and attempt to put together my Ikea shelf. So I have two Ikea shelves or cabinets and I have one that I haven't put together just because I wasn't like... A necessity like at the moment I only need it really one but I think I want to put together two of them because I'm gonna end up working out of my office while this COVID closure thing for all these small businesses are going on I'm going to venture into another aspect um, of creativity so I'm gonna be using my office for that so I'm gonna go kind of spruce it up clean up um, take the boxes out because there's like a bunch of empty boxes in there and I'll show you guys like a quick little sneak peek of what it looks like before I do like my office tour so that's exciting we'll do that today some returns to some stores that I need to take back and I think that's it that's pretty much um yeah so I'm just really excited to start the day I feel very productive I'm gonna make some coffee and gonna chill a little bit and then I'll get started with my day. Hey guys, so we just came back from the store not too long ago. I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that we got. So, we picked up a grill. Oh, it's backwards, but that's okay. We picked up a grill because we've really been wanting to get into grilling. I think I mentioned that earlier. So Terrence is really excited about that. So we got like all of the grill stuff, like the fluid, and we got like a, a cleaner and all of this stuff to be able to grill i think we're going to do some steaks on wednesday so that should be fun and i'm going to make some potatoes probably do like a vegetable like asparagus or broccoli or something like that but i'm really excited about that because i have been craving something with a grill so super super ready for that my mouth is like salivating so that's pretty much 
what I am doing right now. When Terrence actually leaves for work, that is when I go do all my errands because I like to be here with him. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know that is what I usually do. I just wait for him um, so I can go to my office, go run some errands, do all that stuff so I can come back home because I really don't like being out that much, especially when Terrence is not here. I'm really a homebody. That's where I thrive. I thrive at home. I like being at home. So, um, and if I'm out too late, I just find myself in stores that I don't need to be in, so. That is what I do. First day, not having the gym. Well, it's not the first day, but the first day, yeah, it's like the fifth day, but it's the first day of us actually doing something like active and being productive since then. So I think I told you guys I went on a run. Terrence lifted some weights. I don't know if I showed you guys those weights. We bought them a, two days ago. And he loves them so he can do his workouts here and then on the patio i'll show you guys what i'm going to do but we're going to put the grill out there i'm going to get like a little carpet to put on the ground an outdoor carpet so it's nice and then i kind of want to get a chair he doesn't know that but i kind of want to put a chair out there just so i can like chill no chairs and outside. watch him work out there's no chairs going outside i want a chair no i want a chair so i can watch there's him. no chairs. well you're gonna get a bench so that's, that's for working out Exactly. I want to just put one right there so when you're grilling, I can watch you. You can watch from the couch. I can watch you flip burgers with your they big, just close strong arms. They don't want to see you. No with your big, strong arms, I can watch you grill some burgers. Flip my burgers. I'm going to flip some burgers. My new spatula. Oh, that is pretty much it. I'm going to wait to do some stuff. I'm going to sit here and chill. I actually need to go on my laptop and redo my intro for my videos i have a new editing program so i'm gonna try to work with that and see how that goes so i just had a quick little outfit change and um, i went ahead and changed my shirt so i have on like this like wife beater type style but it's a um it's a different fabric it's like a mesh fabric and i really like it so i have on this and then i just put on these high-waisted jeans put on these high-waisted jeans and then I have on some Air Force Ones. A fun fact, I used to have these when I was little. I had some when I was in elementary school. So when this whole trend with the new Air Force Ones and stuff, I was like, do I really want to jump on the bandwagon? Do I really want to relive my childhood memories? So I just decided to go ahead and purchase them. Um, because they do look cute. They look cute with dresses. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. You can pretty much do anything with them. I got these about three weeks ago and it's my second most worn shoe right now in my closet. My first is this one. It's the Nike. I don't know what these are called. I always forget. But these are so comfortable. You see how dirty they are because I wear them so much. But they're so comfortable and it's like my favorite shoe. Like I wear those if not every day, every other day because they're just so comfortable. Um, but while I'm sitting here, I'm actually going to meet with a friend in a couple of minutes. I want to say maybe in about 20 minutes, I'm going to meet up with my friend. And we're going to go hang out and do some stuff. That would be cute to do like a little what's in my bag before I go out. Like what do I take with me when I leave the house and go run errands or if I'm going to hang out with my girls. Um, so I thought that would be really cute. just got this bag not long ago. The Hubs got it for me. It's super cute. It's the uh, Speedy bandolier speedy bandolier something like that but it's the 30 size and i think the 30 is like perfect because anything smaller would not fit everything that i need to take and anything bigger i'm a small girl so like i'm really petite so anything bigger would probably just be too much um so i'm going to show you guys what i keep in my bag really quickly in this bag there's like a tiny zipper right there and then it's just pretty much a hole like it's literally like a dark hole like things get lost in here all the time and it was funny because when i was doing research about this bag people were like if you don't put a purse organizer in there you'll lose your stuff and they were not kidding because i lose everything in this one i don't like organize it in things first i have this little compact bag which just has gum in here it has deodorant I have some um, water pills that help me to bloat. Um, I have Q-tips in here, panty liners. Um, I have some feminine wipes by The Honey Pot. This is a black owned brand, so I really love that. Um, I have wet wipes because things are nasty, Corona. Uh, I have a tampon in here. 
lotion and a hair tie. I have a little nail filer. I have more, oh, did I have, no, I have lip products in here. So I have this one from Bath and Body Works. It is a lip shine, it's a mint one. I really like this one. This is from Bliss and this is just a, um, like a tinted red lip. And then I have a matte, a liquid matte lipstick. And then I have an e.l.f. lipstick. I actually really like this one. This is the color Pink Kisses. They had this at Target. Um, I don't know if they still have it, but it's so pretty. Look at that. It's so pretty. I think it's like a really pretty pink for anybody's skin tone. I think it's great. And then I have a flower bomb perfume in here. Some eye drops. More tampons. More tampons. Because you can never have enough. Um, and I have some hair ties in here. A paper clip. A little water pill. Gum and a pen. So that's what's in this one. And then I have my sunglasses. I think you guys seen these earlier. They're just these sunglasses. I'll put them on for you. Super cute. I just feel like, yes, hold on, hold on, one moment. Like they're so cute, I love these so much. And I keep them in this Ray-Bans case. These aren't Ray-Bans. Um, I just keep them in this case to protect them. Um, I have my birth control in this little discreet little purse wallet thingy. I keep it in here because I just, I don't know. I don't want people looking at my stuff. <laughs> I have a iPhone charger with the, this type of, um, attachment. I forgot what this is called, but it charges my phone super quick. So I always keep this with me just in case. I have some essential oil. This is, um, the one you roll on to help with de-stressing so i kind of just roll these sometimes on my neck and on my wrist it smells so good that's supposed to be in a different bag don't know why it's out i have an extra mask so that's in there i'm not going to empty out all of these um but because you can kind of see it so i have a hair scrunchie right there i have some um they're like natural pills to help you de-bloat. So I have those. I have some essential oil right here in lavender. I have some um, toothpicks, the ones that you use to like get things at your teeth like floss. I have a lippy down here. This one's just a clear liquid lipstick. And then I have this pink thing right here is a um, like a lip mask. I have a compact mirror and then I have a pin down there have some ibuprofen in here I have my Louis Vuitton six key ring holder so it just looks like that so I have that in here I keep usually my mail key the key to my parents house um, sometimes I'll put the key to my office but usually I like to keep that on my main keys because I don't want to um, like lose it or like forget when I walk up there to go get something really quick if I have to go by the office I don't want to have to like take the key out take that with me and then I'm taking two sets of keys it just doesn't make sense so I just don't do that very often I have my other mask in here you always have to keep mask on you because if you're like me I tend to forget um, I have a pack of gum I always have gum with me it's like I have to I also have my mini pochette in here and I just keep like lip oil this is what i take if i'm going to if i don't want to take my purse like the my whole purse what i'll do is i'll just take my mini pochette into the store with me like while i'm wearing irons because it has like my stuff in here it has my cards keys cash um i have gum in here i have my airpods in here and i have an extra mask and then i just throw this lip product in even though because we're wearing these masks no one even sees your lips, so honestly, I don't think it's worth it putting my lip product in. I'll probably take it out. But yeah, so I keep all of that in this, so then whenever I just need to like go really quickly, I can just take this instead of having to take my big purse. I have a little fish eye lens for when I want to take wide angle photos. Let's see, she, did she, oh, they're leaving now, so I'm gonna leave pretty soon. I have my e.l.f. lipstick. I have so many little liquid lipsticks in here 
Um, actually, this is a lip gloss. Then I have my Key Australia glasses. So it's really hard for me to see at night. I get a really bad glare and I get really bad migraines. So my doctor um, recommended me with a low prescription and blue light. He put blue light frames inside my glasses. So this really helps when I'm driving at night. I don't get the headaches from seeing like the bright lights. So I'll use that when I'm driving. I have some receipts in here. Uh, Altoid mints reusable glass straws and then i just have some hand sanitizer this is the peach bellini it's probably one of my all-time favorite scents from bath and body works just it smells so good um but yeah so that is all other than like i keep my phone in here and my keys are hanging up but that's pretty much it that's all i really keep in my bag i'm glad that i cleaned it out because there's some things that i don't need that i'm taking out of here so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then i'm going to meet up with my friend um so we can go hang out and do girl things and i yeah i'm gonna i have too much stuff in this purse okay guys we are here inside hydrovere studio this is it so i will give you guys a little tour so far what we have so right here is the reception desk so I have two acrylic chairs um, one right here and the other one on that side that side is for whoever I'm meeting with the client um, just for them to be able to sit down somewhere if we have to do paperwork um, if they're booking their next appointment whatever they can just sit down and do it and then that chair is also for me some new additions I picked this up today from home goods so that is just a mirror. I'm actually gonna hang it so it's like raised and high and then I'm gonna put a plant next to it. So it's gonna look really cute. I'm excited for that. This down here, my purse is right on top of it. That's our mini fridge. That's like a, um, like a glass window one. So you'll be able to see the drinks inside. So that's really cute. One of the biggest things that we purchased is this couch. I'm super excited about this couch. It's so cute. I love it. It's like this caramel. It's called Camelback, but it's super pretty against the white walls. And this floor, the floor looks gray, but it's actually brown. It's like a brownish gray with white in it. So it looks really pretty. Um, against that i really like how that turned out and then this is a chair for another service that you guys will be hearing about soon so this is actually a recliner and it's a massage chair so that's really cool and then here is just some storage this is one of the storage cabinets so what i'm actually going to end up doing is putting this over there and then there's another one that looks exactly the same that i haven't put together yet but that one's gonna go over there. So it's kinda, it's gonna be kind of like a catty corner type of shelf. That's the plan, I'm not sure yet, just because my like actual treatment chair is supposed to go right here, but I don't know if that's gonna be enough room. I'm gonna have to move things around and just see how it works out, but this cabinet is from Ikea, and it has a lot of space. Like, I was pretty impressed it's a lot of space in there. So I have plenty of storage. I won't need to buy any more storage. At first I thought I was, but this should be more than enough. So yeah, today I was gonna try to put together the Ikea desk, but I just, I don't know, I still might, but I have groceries in the car, so I don't really wanna do that. And I kinda wanna go home. I wanna do this tomorrow where I can dedicate like a full day to it, cause today I did a lot of errands. It's about six o'clock, almost 6.30. Oh no, it's about six o'clock, it's 5.30 right now. And so, doing this is kind of just gonna make me very frustrated and irritated, and I don't feel like being irritable right now. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the trash out maybe today, but for the most part, I'm gonna do like a whole bunch tomorrow. Um, and that'll be a video kind of just decorating my space, getting it put together, because I kind of need to just really see what I have before I go get anything else. I don't wanna waste money. So um, the chair is gonna be the last thing that I get because we're closed currently right now. So there's no point of getting a treatment chair if I'm not doing treatments. So 
for the most part, I'm just gonna put together everything in its place, put away all of my supplies that I have out, put it into the cabinet, um, build my other cabinet, and then kind of get everything tidy, and then I'm gonna see where I am from there. Um, I'll show you guys two really quick. This isn't new, but I decided to take it out of my home and put it in here because I think this kind of fits the vibe of what my studio is. I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure. I might give it away, but for now, um, I think I'm gonna keep it in here. It's one of the snakeskin plants, I think it's called. So that's that's cute. And then I think that one's from Walmart. I got that from Walmart a while ago. And this I got from Home Goods today. Or not home goods. Why did I say that? Hobby Lobby. I got this and that mirror from Hobby Lobby today. But this is this pretty vase and it's from their springtime collection. And I just think that this is such my vibe. I'm really going for a lot of earth tones and whites and blacks and things like that. That's what I'm going for. So I felt like this was perfect. It's like this green, this glass green emerald type color. It's so pretty. So. I'm gonna actually this oh this is a whole look at that that's a whole mood I mean it's okay but like that's really pretty yeah I'm just gonna get ready to go home and figure out what else I need to do to prepare I know I need to work on some things on my laptop get some stuff situated business-wise and then I need to come up with something a business plan what I'm gonna do while I'm out of commission so I'm gonna do those things when I get home and relax because I'm stressed. I need to zen out. I got some new tea today I'll show you guys. And I'm really excited to have my cup of tea and be able to wind down because that's my favorite time of the day is when I get to just. Oh, I said I was gonna show you guys the tea that I got earlier um, from Target. So this is the Tazo, Tazo, Tazo. Yeah, I think that's the brand. Tazo tea and this one is the vanilla caramel chai so vanilla caramel chai and this one I'm really excited about this is the glazed lemon loaf so I don't know I feel like I'm going to do this one tomorrow in the morning the caffeine level on this one is a three and this is just an herbal tea this is caffeine free. But I think I'm really excited to try this. This is going to be really good. I'll let you guys know on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me because that's where I do most of my interaction is on Instagram. I post a lot more on there than I do um, on YouTube, which I'm trying to get better about. I'm going to be consistent. Um, it's just I have to focus on one thing at a time. So now that my business is good now, I can focus on other things. So yeah i'll update you guys on how this tastes i feel like it's gonna taste really good i kind of just want to try one now i want to smell it let's let's open this and see what it smells like okay it's pre-packaged so you can't really smell it but i can smell the lemon though that is it for today's day in my life of vlog update vlog um i will be trying to do daily vlogs i don't know if i'm going to post daily vlogs every day but um i need to figure out my new schedule because the schedule i had before wasn't really working so i will figure out my new schedule so i will be able to post for you guys i'm thinking i'm going to do it tuesdays and thursdays i'm not sure i think mondays and wednesdays were my upload days before but i think i'm going to do tuesdays and thursdays because because it gives me some time from the weekend if I vlogged to update that or to edit that footage and then be able to put it out Tuesday and then on Thursdays it gives me a day to relax because Terrence is off on Wednesday and he's off on Thursday so I can just sit and edit and hang out with him so it's either gonna be Tuesday Thursday or Tuesday Friday one of those days um, will be the new uploading day so I'm super excited to be able to be back on YouTube it's annoying how I just I know I know guys don't even tell me don't 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 come for me please <laughs> if you're like Sakari you literally have not uploaded anything but I'm just glad to be able to be back to speak to you guys show you guys what I'm doing um, and yeah if you guys have any questions or comments anything that you guys would like to see go ahead and let me know down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye